So we are here in the largest suburb in the United States. That is Mesa, Arizona. And in today's video, we're gonna take you on a little tour of town. We're gonna to be going over the five best neighborhoods, in my opinion, that you will find here in this beautiful town. Stay tuned. Hey, and if this is your first time on my channel and you wanna know everything that there is to know about living in the Phoenix area and the surrounding suburbs like right here in Mesa, make sure you go down below, hit that subscribe button, and that way you'll be kept informed of all the goings on here in the Phoenix market. My name is Brian Elder and I get calls, texts, and emails every single day from people that are exactly like you and you and you and you and you and you everybody thinking about moving to this fantastic place so if you are looking to move in six days or six months it does not matter feel free to reach out to me via a phone call text message email or you can go down below and schedule a zoom call with me all of my information is in the description below and i'd be honored to help you make a smooth move here to the phoenix area so kicking off our tour, we're gonna to come here to the far southeast corner of Mesa. We're in the community of Cadence at Gateway, and this is a great place. So this is a little bit smaller on the list of communities that we're gonna be going through today. This one is 444 acres, and it's a little bit more of an intimate setting that you might find in some of the other places. Not as many homes coming on the resale market here, just again, due to the size of the community and the fact that it's newer. Development here started in 2017, and they're in the final phases of development right now. Toll Brothers and TriPoint Homes just about sold out of the final phase of development here at Caden. So there's a couple of things about Cadence that everybody notices right away. Number one, it's got a beautiful entryway. There's palm trees and landscaping that is absolutely gorgeous. It really feels like a resort when you come driving up here. And to top that off and really sell it is this pool area. It is just spectacular. Everybody loves those big, colorful water slides. Very rare that you see a community that is gonna feature that. So this is definitely a popular item amongst families with kids. Those water slides keep them entertained for hours at a time. Cadence also is not short on other amenities. So right behind me here is an area they call the square. And this is gonna house a lot of the cool gathering places for the community. So there is a whole bunch of stuff in there. Number one is a cool little cafe style hangout called Stir. This is really meant to be kind of a co-working environment. So you can bring your laptop in and hang out with some other neighbors who maybe work from home. It's a great amenity for the residents who are in that situation. There is also an area called Mix, and this is where a lot of the big HOA functions are gonna be held. They have festivals there, they have community gatherings of all kinds, and as we were just filming over here, they actually had a little toddler story time going on. So lots of different activities available to the residents. That's why people love it so much here. A Couple more items they have here at the square. Behind me is the fitness center. So a lot of these community centers don't have an actual gym built into them. Cadence took a different approach, put one in. The residents absolutely love it. All of that included in your HOA dues. And one more feature to the community is this space here in front of me. This is called Flourish. It's meant to be a gathering place for the residents. So they have big screen TVs so you can get together and watch a football game or whatever is on at the time. There's also on the other side of it, a little game room. It's gonna have arcade games, some ping pong, things like that for your kids. Great place to get together and spend some time with the neighbors. There are also quite a few neighborhood parks scattered throughout Caden. Some of them have some really large play structures along with barbecue areas and some grass and even sand volleyball pits. Tons of options for entertainment right here in the city of Mesa. Another couple of things that Cadence offers its residents are some sport courts. So they have tennis courts as well as basketball. So really, no matter what your interests, you should have no trouble being entertained while you live here. So while this is a fantastic neighborhood, everybody always wants to know what's the downside. Well, here at Cadence, that could probably be the lot size. They are not very big. So if you're looking for a big backyard, something to that effect, not really gonna find it here. Probably not the best fit for those kinds of folks. The homes here start at about the low 500,000s for the get-in price, and the upper end is right around the mid 900s. And if you're coming to Arizona with elementary school aged kids, we're talking grades K through six, then you are gonna love the fact that Silver Valley Elementary School is right in the heart of the community. So your kids will be able to either walk or bike to school, a great benefit for parents living in Cadence. Right next door to Cadence is the next up on our list. This is Eastmark. And if you've seen my channel before, you probably know how much I love this place. I think this is the best neighborhood in all of Arizona, let alone Mesa. Now, if you wanna know why, I've got a full length video on this community specifically that I will link down in the description below, probably have one at the end of the video as well. So let's talk a little bit about Eastmark. This is a huge community to start. It is 3,200 acres. There are nearly 20,000 people who live here. That's an incredible amount for a subdivision. 
and all right here in this city within a city. So Eastmark broke ground in 2013, so the homes are all on the newer side. The get-in price is around the upper 400,000s for some of the smaller homes. The larger one's gonna be well over a million dollars. So really a wide variety of homes to fit all kinds of home buyers. So the thing that people love about Eastmark, all the amenities to start with, we're right in front of the Mark, the main hub of the community. They have games inside. There are gathering places for parties. This is really a great space and where the action all kind of starts. There are a ton of parks scattered throughout Eastmark. So the Great Park is the one that everybody thinks of. It's right in the center of the community and has a whole bunch of playgrounds and amphitheater where they host concerts and events. Really so much to do, you will never get bored here. There are clubs based on what kind of interest you may have. You're gonna find other neighbors who have those same interests. So make sure you check those out as well. And that's not even mentioning the resort style pool. There's a disc golf course, a skate park, so many more things to list. It's just an endless amount of fun living here in Eastmark. So let's talk a little bit about the cons, right? Because again, there is no perfect neighborhood and this certainly isn't that either. The thing that people kind of get a little bit bent out of shape over here, the fact that we are a little bit of a drive from retail and restaurants. Now they have plans to fix that. There is supposed to be a big commercial core coming here in the next year or two, but as of right now, you're gonna have to drive a little bit to get to some of those extra amenities. So heading north from East Mark and Cadence, we come to the next stop on our tour. This is the community of Mountain Bridge. And this one is really great if you happen to be an outdoor enthusiast. We are tucked into the foothills of the Usury Mountains here, meaning that you are minutes away from some great hiking and mountain biking trails just right out your front door. If you're more into the water and the boating scene, then hey, this is a great location. Saguaro Lake is only 15 minutes from here, so you're really close to a lot of the best outdoor recreation opportunities anywhere in the Phoenix Metro. So just like East Mark and Cadence, they're gonna have a lot of social activities here. We are at the Owners Club. This is again, the central meeting hub for the people in the community and where they host a ton of the events. So they have clubs, they have festivals, all the same stuff that a lot of these master plan communities do. So meeting your neighbors and being social is gonna be very easy while you're living here. The Owners Club also has a beautiful back patio area. That is where they're gonna host some live music and a lot of food related events. So it's really a great place to come enjoy the beautiful scenery and the views that you get out here. This is a little bit different. East Mark and Cadence are kind of down in the flat part of the valley. You really do get some nice scenery being here in the mountains. Some other perks of Mountain Bridge include a ton of sport courts. So you can see behind me, there's some tennis and pickleball courts. There is a basketball court, not to mention miles and miles of walking paths. They have some gorgeous walking paths that go throughout the beautiful landscaping that they have here. They are lit, so you can do it at night so you can get out of that summer heat. And you're gonna have beautiful views of the Usury Mountains, everything right at your fingertips here, outdoor related at Mountain Bridge. Mountain Bridge is a pretty large community. There's just under 1,500 home sites here and just under 4,000 residents. The get-in price is gonna be in about the mid 500s for the homes on the market currently. Your upper end is gonna be in the mid 1 million. So a very wide variety, that's kind of a theme here. And it's a really great community for a lot of different kinds of people. The downside of Mountain Bridge, again, no community's perfect. This was built out by a single builder. So Blanford Homes, a local builder here in the Valley built this out and it is a gorgeous community. However, when you have that single builder, a lot of the homes can kind of look the same because they're gonna have a similar style from one builder doing all of the work. So if there is a con and that's pretty nitpicky, it's that the houses can blend together a little bit in terms of the style. Now, if you like Mountain Bridge, but maybe you're looking for a few more offerings than what they have here, you're gonna love the next community. It's just a couple of miles away down the road. We're gonna go check out Las Sendas. So another community hugging the Usury Mountains and giving you a lot of outdoor opportunities is right here. This is the community of Las Cindas. And the thing that everybody immediately goes to here is the golf course. They have one of the best in the Phoenix Metro. It is always ranked as a top 10 place to play. It's got great views, it's hilly, it's challenging. People love playing that course. Definitely something to check out if you live around here. So within Los Angeles, there are 3,400 homes and there are pools, parks, playgrounds scattered throughout the entire neighborhood. It really is amenity rich. Something that differentiates this place a little bit is this area that we're at right here. This is the members club and it features a gigantic pool area. It also has a massive spa and fitness center. Now membership to this is not included in your HOA dues. This is a separate purchase, but it is a wonderful perk if you wanna have an absolute premier gym and spa experience right in the middle of your own neighborhood. 
This community also boasts hiking trails that are going to be right out your front door, so great outdoor recreation opportunities at your fingertips. You're also just a couple minutes drive from Granite Reef Recreation Area. That is a beautiful spot on the Salt River where the water flows a little slower thanks to a little dam they have there. Great for the stand-up paddle boarders and kayakers or even taking a nice little swim from the bank. So homes in this neighborhood, again, have a huge range. Your get-in price is going to be about the mid 400000 thousands for the smaller homes. The larger ones are really impressive. There are estate level homes high up on the mountaintop where you're going to have beautiful views of the city and the mountains around you. Those are going to be in the multi-million dollar range. So no matter where you are in life, you can probably find a great home that fits your needs here in Los Cendas. Now, of course, this place has some cons as well. This neighborhood was largely developed in the 90s and early 2000s. That means some of those homes are going to need a little bit of updating because some of them are obviously going to have that older style, some of the older features that you may not want in your home anymore. So keep that in mind when you're looking at homes here in Los Cendas. So if you like the idea of a golf course community, but you don't want something that's this expensive, you're going to want to definitely check out the next one. So we're going to be checking out another golf course community that's going to be much easier on your wallet and also have the most affordable homes that we've seen on our tour. That's going to be Dobson Ranch. Let's go check it out. So we are here at Dobson Ranch, another golf course community, but you'll notice a different vibe here than you did over at Los Cendas. That place feels like a country club. It's pristine, everything's really nice. Not to say that it's not here. This place is gorgeous too, but definitely more of a family-friendly feel around here. So as you can see all around me, we're at a big park with lots of stuff for kids. There's a playground, there are sport courts, there is a huge grass area to go play around on, and a cool feature here at Dobson Ranch, all these lakes. So there's a ton of water here, tons of walking paths that go around them. Gives a really beautiful feel to the neighborhood. So the headliner here really is the golf course. It's a beautiful place. It's kind of more of a relaxed feel. So whereas Los Endes maybe feels a little more like the country club, this one's maybe kind of a sports bar. They're gonna be playing music at the driving range. They have a lot of fun tournaments and it's just a kind of cool vibe that you get when you're playing the golf course around here. As far as the community goes, there's a ton to offer. So they have three different recreation centers in this community. One is a large space with uh, pretty much a big multi-purpose room. It's designed to be rented out for birthday parties, graduation events, things like that. The second is gonna feature more of an outdoor area. It has a pool, it has parks and playgrounds, and mostly is centered on those outside activities. The third one really is kind of a hybrid between the two. So it's got indoor meeting space as well as a second pool area. So really lots of choice here for the residents at Dobson Ranch. The HOA here at Dobson Ranch also going to organize lots of fun social activities for you. So you'll always have things to do if you're living here. And this community is the oldest on our list by a pretty good amount. This was developed starting in the mid 70s. So of course that's going to lead into the con of the neighborhood. Some of the homes are a little older, going to need some updates, but it's definitely going to give you access to a lower price point than you see in any other community on this list. You can get into Dobson Ranch starting in the low 300s and the top end homes usually are only going in about the mid 7s so really if affordability is an issue this is going to be a great spot so as you can see there are tons of choices for you in terms of housing here in the community of mesa arizona it is after all america's largest suburb so if you have questions about maybe some of the other neighborhoods that we didn't get today you want to see more of mesa feel free to reach out to me give me a call shoot me a text send me an email or go down below and schedule that zoom call would be happy to help you also down below in the description, have a couple of helpful links for you. Number one, my free Arizona relocation guide full of tons of helpful information. Number two, the AZ Dream Home Questionnaire. If you wanna fill that out, you can give me some really great feedback on what it is that you value in a home and it'll help me make a better recommendation to you going forward. Thank you guys very much for watching. Really appreciate your support as always. I will see you again very soon with another video.